Mule Runtime Inbound Properties. Here you can see the inbound properties. Uh, uh, the inbound properties uh, 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 the inbound properties are immutable are automatically uh, uh, generated by the message source and cannot be uh, set or manipulated by the user. They contain metadata specific to the message source that prevents uh, scrambling of data formats or other processing mishaps uh, later in the message lifecycle. A message retains in its inbound properties only for the duration of the flow. Uh, when the message passes out the flow, its inbound properties uh, do not uh, uh, follow. See the image here. Here the inbound property prop1, uh, property prop1 is equal red is in the uh, header and header and payload is in the message and message is in the message source and it's in the, 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 the and message source is connected to the next message uh, ma sorry connected to the message processor uh, here the uh, inbound property uh, prop equal one uh, equal red and uh, is in the uh, header and header and payload is in the message and message is in the uh, message processor uh, and message source and message processor in the flow a here here the uh, message process is connected to the message uh, source in flow B. Uh, here the uh, header uh, is in the message and message and payload is in the uh, 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 header and the payload is in the message and message is in the message source and message source is connected to the message processor. Here the uh, header is in the mes uh, he header and the payload are in the uh, message and message is in the message processor. Here the message source and message processor is in the flow B here. Now, uh, this is the uh, end of my presentation. Thank you very much for watching it.